You're watching News 8 Now. I'm Megan Torgerson. And I'm Erin Valley. The patient who spent 24 hours under observation at Maine Med has checked out of the hospital after testing negative for Ebola. The CDC says the patient was a low risk case and the hospital took the extra precautions because of the patient's symptoms and recent travel from a region of concern. Maine CDC Director Dr. Sheila Panette says officials from multiple agencies in the state are working together and say they're prepared. The man accused of killing his pregnant girlfriend in a hit and run in Lewiston will face a judge today. Evaristo Deuce is scheduled to be arraigned this morning on murder charges at Androscoggin County Superior Court. Investigators say that Deuce was behind the wheel of an SUV that drove into Ladrina Cubeloso and then took off. Deuce later tried to flee to Haiti. His attorney has said that he will plead not guilty. The main medical examiner is investigating the death of a crew member on board the Nova Star Ferry's final voyage of the season. Officials say the man, whose name is not being released, passed away Monday, but there is no sign of foul play. The Nova Star returned to Portland from Nova Scotia yesterday for its final trip of the season. It ended the season about two weeks earlier than originally scheduled. Last night, as the sun went down, the Mesolonsky High School community gathered to remember Cassidy Charette. The 17 year old was killed in that tragic hayride accident over the weekend in Mechanic Falls. Earlier in the day, the girls' soccer team wore shirts with Cassidy's name as they took the field for the first time since their teammate died. Thanks for tuning in to this News 8 Now update. I'm Erin O'Valley. I'm Megan Torgerson. Make sure to check back at WMTW.com and our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime. Have a good day.